Do you, uh, I mean, how old are you now? Uh, 75. Do you wonder how much you're going to see before your time on this earth is done? Well, you know, digital immortality is something that's coming. I was going to bring that up next. <laughs> Uh, for example, uh, William Shatner sat for about three or four days uh, answering questions and having it then recorded. And then a computer homogenizes it, cuts it up, puts it in logical sequence so that you can talk to William Shatner years after he has passed away. And so this gives you a form of digital immortality. Pretty crude, though. Pretty crude. But then the question is, what do you do with it? Right. One is you can talk to your great, 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 great grandkids. Uh, long after you're gone, you can talk to them because all your thoughts, your feelings, your history, your dreams have been recorded. And you can impart your knowledge, your wisdom to your great, 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 great grandkids long after you're gone. Another application is then to take this digitized human, put it on a laser beam, and shoot it throughout the universe at the speed of light. I call this laser porting. So you digitize the human, so all the responses of the human are on a digital signal. You put it on a laser beam and shoot it to the moon. In one second, your digital brain is on the moon. In 20 minutes, you're on Mars. And in four years, you're on Alpha Centauri, the nearest star. And so what do you do when you're on the moon? On the moon, you download your digital information that codes who you are onto an avatar. And the avatar then can roam the moon and not have to suffer from weightlessness, cosmic rays, accidents, loss of oxygen. No, you are an avatar controlling all the movements on the moon. In other words, you can explore the galaxy this way. At the speed of light, the fastest known velocity in the universe, your digital brain waves and information about your brain and thinking can be shot throughout the universe. Now, this is all well within the laws of physics, and this is something that could easily be done within the next 50 to 100 years. However, I'll stick my neck out. I think this already exists. Really? I think that aliens in outer space don't use rocket ships. They don't use that rocket ships because they, they crash, they have problems with gamma rays, radiation, food, whatever. They've digitized themselves, placed place their consciousness on a laser beam, and there's a laser highway. A laser highway that could be right next to the Earth, for all we know, carrying the digitized souls of civilizations, and we're totally clueless. We're so stupid, we don't even know that that's how the aliens move from place to place. What other